jemand halt für unter 100 Euro ein Rick gebaut. Das will ich sehen. Ich möchte sehen, wie jemand für unter 100 Euro ein Rick gebaut hat. Ich bin sehr gespannt. Wie soll denn das gehen? Ja, das will ich ja rausfinden. Also auf dem Thumbnail sah es erstmal äh, gar nicht so schlecht aus. Aber für unter 100 Euro? Steht auch. On budget wood sim rig build. Unter... Hi, Zach. Video that I've been meaning to put out, um, and it's going to be a little bit more difficult over the next few weeks just because we're in the holidays, um, just due to traveling and family and things like that. So, I'm going to try to get at least one video out per week. Um, hopefully, have this one out this week. You'll know when this is out because you'll be watching it. But in this video, we're going to be looking at the sim rig that I built over the summer using wood for about 60 70 US dollars. Okay. Let me know what you guys think about this build. Um, is it something that a new sim racer should try rather than spending hundreds of dollars on an 80-20 rig? Not sure if they want to invest that much time into it. Um, or, you know, should they go this route? 60, 70 bucks, something happens to it, whatever, if they lose interest, whatever. Oh. We have some special things coming out for this in the future, and I will do a video on that as well. Von wann ist denn das? War Holz noch angenehm vom Preis her? Äh, vor zwei Jahren. Na gut, vor zwei, ja, vor zwei Jahren war Holz teuer. Sehr teuer. Alright, so I guess we'll go ahead and just start off by just overall looking at the rig itself. Um, I've got 2x4s, 4x4s and 2x10s. The 2x10s are for the monitor stand. The 2x4s are for the base of the rig. Das sieht richtig schick aus. Jetzt mal ohne Flachs. Um, that also includes the seat uh, base as well. Um, and then the two by fours also go up the base for the steering wheel. And I believe it's a, it might, I think it's a two by 10 um, slab for the uh, steering wheel base as well. Das sieht richtig gut aus. And we'll kind of just start at the back here and kind of just work our way, our, our way around. Um, here I have an NRG seat. Um, that is sitting on some eBay seat sliders. Um, and the seat also included the NRG side brackets as well. So you'll see the um, slider there. This railing here is just, um, it, it's basically, it was made for showers for slipping. So it's, it's a slip bar, but um, it's a <laughs> lot easier to grab onto this and pull myself out of the rig rather than trying to Uh, use any of the 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 two by fours to lift myself out. Okay. So it's super sturdy and it does it does its job well for this aspect. So there's the NRG seat. And you'll see here in the the corners here that those are the four by fours in each corner, just to give it a little bit more stabilization. Underneath there is just a, a little tray. I put my keyboard, um, and then underneath hmm. that there's a nub. I don't know if we can see. The nub is for an eventual butt kicker that I do plan on getting. You kind of see it there. Oh, hier wurde schlampig gearbeitet. Oh oh. Oh oh. Na 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 na. Wieso ist das da nicht gestrichen? The top. So you'll notice like I, there's there's some issues like with the paint that I didn't quite paint okay. um, all the way. Looking back at this now. I would definitely give it another coat. I think I did two co coats on this. I would definitely do a third coat on it if I were to redo this. Uh, and you'll notice some other issues here too, just to go off track a little bit, but like for the monitor stand, you'll see splits. Um, it's fine now, I've got, you know, different support in here. Um, but I would have pre-drilled rather than just drilling the screws in if I would redo it. So that's just a side note. Uh, let's continue back here in the back again. So there's that. Aber ja, das ist doch richtig gut. Also jetzt mal, äh, wirklich. I'm gonna go over here on the right side. These are just some gloves, cheap little gloves I've got here. Um, I built a mouse pad or a mouse, um, um, I guess, yeah, a mouse pad. Just had a little piece of plywood. Use the felt, um, fabric that you would get on a mouse pad. And then... Drilled that in, wasn't really necessary, but it, I think it gave it a little bit of a nice industrial look. So it turned out really well, and it's really nice uh, little mouse pad there for that. And we'll 
start up at the top up here. Uh, here on the left side is an iPad 2, an old iPad 2 that I had, and I bought a bracket off Amazon to hold that iPad in as a secondary screen. Basically, it uses SIM Hub. Um, if you have any questions about that, let me know and I can help answer that. Um, here in the middle is a Thrustmaster uh, F1 wheel add-on, and then I have the T300 behind that. Um, on the right side here is a, an old Android Essential phone that I turned into SIM Hub as well. Wenn ich das immer sehe, also, dass so viele Geräte über Netzwerk die Sachen beziehen, ich weiß immer gar nicht. Also, ich hätte ein bisschen Angst, dass das nicht so stabil ist. Um, yeah, I, I like to use these things, like the, the iPad and the phone as a HUD display rather than having it on the actual monitor itself. Underneath that is a SteelSeries Arctis 7 wireless base um, that I use with my headset which is awesome. If you guys have any questions about that, let me know. I've had it for a couple of years now and it's done great. Uh, this little bracket is for a future project. Uh, I'll do a video on that at some point. I do have these wired, the iPad and the phone wired for continuous power so I don't have to keep um, charging those. On top of the, well this is, we'll start there. That's a 49 inch um, super ultra wide as well. I have just a little- Is this really super ultra wide? Cheap light, with the face cam whenever I do use that, and then a, uh, let's see, what is that? That's the Logitech, I think C920 webcam, 1080. Uh. Just another overall look here. Aber das sieht richtig gut aus. Ohne Scheiß. The bottom is the Fanatic CSL Elite pedals. I do plan on getting the load cell for Christmas, so I can do a video on that as well if you guys are interested. That's just the base that supports the pedals and those little the little um silver connectors are really just show they don't do much just again gives it that more industrial look so i'll move around to the back again you'll see this uh, the mount here and the wiring i try to do my best with cable management because there's nothing worse than terrible cable management so oh, but you don't have a lot of cable also you don't have a lot of i'm doing my best with that and you can kind of see here the T300 in the monitor as well. Das sieht richtig gut aus. So let's go back into um, let's see this little box here with all the cables power um, and then underneath that is just a cheap little external speaker set. Warum hängt da ein USB Stick? Ist das ein USB Stick? Sieht irgendwie so aus wie ein USB Stick. External speaker set. Oder sind das die Der Rechner ist auch gerade nicht drin. It's a monitor mount. And then really finally is just the cables. Um, I have the mounted back here basically just ready to plug in whenever I move the computer over, uh, which is at my workstation right now. Ah, okay. So that's basically it. If you das guys have any gut. questions about lumber uh well specifically lumber for this let me know um and i'll do my best to answer them you know 70 bucks to do this and it looks awesome from you know five yes. in america for like I feel like here. it looks like a 500 dollars setup but it was 70 bucks so um let me know in the comments below if you guys have any questions and i will do my best to help thanks for watching das ist richtig 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 gut also ich weiß nicht, was das so im europäischen Raum kostet, wegen Holz und so, weil ich von Holz keine Ahnung habe, was da die Preise angeht. Aber ganz ehrlich, wenn du das für ein Huni oder 150 dir hingebaut kriegst, also ich meine, du wirst jetzt wahrscheinlich irgendwann im Laufe der Zeit Schwierigkeiten kriegen, wenn du mal eine DD fährst oder so. Aber das ist doch richtig gut und es erfüllt seinen Zweck. Du sitzt jedes Mal identisch drin. Ich denke mal nicht, dass du so viel Probleme haben wirst mit der Bremse, wenn du jetzt nicht unbedingt 100 Kilo reinzimmerst, das ist doch mega geil. Das ist richtig, richtig gut. Ich würde auch gern irgendwann mal so ein Holzding ausprobieren, bin ich ganz ehrlich. Einfach nur mal, um zu wissen, wie es ist, in so einem Ding zu sitzen. Weil ich habe mal, ich, ich persönlich habe aber ein bisschen Angst, dass man da irgendwann auf Dauer irgendwas rausreißt. Aber es gibt auch ganz viele Menschen, die sagen so, na, Holz, das hält auf ewig. Aber schick, unter 100 Euro, stabil. Das gefällt mir, muss ich ganz ehrlich zugeben. Hätte ich nicht erwartet, dass, äh, dass das so schick ist. Also es gibt ja doch sehr viel 
so zusammengekloppte Sachen, die schon ein bisschen wilder sind. Aber das war jetzt nicht schlecht. <lacht> 